Hey everyone, let's do a walkthrough of the LiftEd site, both the parent and the student dashboards, and see how we can be successful all together. So the first thing is, this is the login page. From here, you can log in as a parent with your email and password, or if you forgot your password, just click here and you'll get an email with a reset link. Let's go ahead and sign in and look at the parent experience. Now there's a lot you can explore here, but I want to focus just on the key things. This is for the parents, not for the students. So don't try to give your students access to the content through your portal. They need to be signed in as them. But here as a parent, you can prep for lessons by going to the lesson pages. You see you have different students. You can see the different levels that they're in. You can prep for the lesson by seeing what it's about, giving them any pre-lesson reading, seeing what they'll be asked to do for homework and getting some ideas for how you can talk to them after the lesson and push the learning farther along in the home. Also, you've got these videos you, you can record in preparation for their lessons that the students, your children, will find when they get to that lesson. Right now it's called Secret Admirer, but we're changing that name soon. So if you click here and select your student, you'll be given a prompt. Learning brings you closer to God. What do you like to learn about? And you can record a video telling them about your experiences and your thoughts, and that child will encounter your video when they get to that lesson. The other important thing you can do as a parent is you can see what they've got on the schedule. In the My Students tab, you can actually go in and see how your student is doing. You can watch the videos that they're recording as part of their lessons. Here I can see what the video is that he recorded and what the prompt was. And I can even go in here, click on these three little dots and download that video if I want to save it for family history. Now, another important thing you can do as the parent in the My Student tab is go over to the profile settings and click on settings. Here you can change your student's password in case they've forgotten it or you're struggling to log in. You can also update their other profile settings right here and adjust their privacy settings or their course settings. Remember, you can chat with us if you need help up here. Just click on the chat button and LiftEd support. Let's sign out as the parent and see what the student experience is like. Okay, you'll see that students don't often have email addresses for their username. Rather, they just have the username you set up and the one that you can adjust from your parent portal. Again, the password is also something you can adjust from the parent portal. When the student signs in, we can see their name in the top, and that's how we know we're ready to, to learn. Here we'll see the classes we have, and this is the most important thing. I've got explore time at 9 a.m. as a student and class time at 10. If I click on this explore time link, it'll take me into my lesson. If I click this class time link, it'll open Zoom, which I shouldn't do until it's time for that class. Let's go into the explore time. Here we've got a short description of the lesson similar to what the parents saw, but most importantly is here we can jump into the pathway. You'll see that this lesson map is all grayed out, and that's because the student has, hasn't participated in it yet. The student will click here to participate in a short review game. When they're done with that, they'll be moved along to the research portion where they'll watch a video and they will participate by answering questions and recording videos of themselves. When they're done there, they'll come over to the Reason and Relate, where they'll learn about how the concept from the previous section, the research section, connects to the Gospel. Again, here they'll interact and record short videos of themselves. Then they'll take a quiz and do the record assignments, which is their homework. I'm going to show you how this works using a lesson that's already been completed. You can see once these steps have been completed, the color fills in so you know where you are in the pathway. In this case, my son hasn't finished his homework. We'll talk about that with him later. Let's look at the review game. When they start, they do the review game. They'll see other students in here with them, and this starts a few minutes before they scheduled class start. If I click Start Now, we begin to play the game. It's very simple. We just answer the questions. Here they can fill in the blanks. Every person person in history is one of God's children. children. As we learn about them, we can learn about him. him. 
I answer the question, I move on, and I see how the other students are doing. This is a way for students to review and socialize before they start the class. Now normally they'd finish and move on to the next stage, but I'm going to go out so I don't have to spend too much time there, and I can show you what's next. Oh, wrong lesson here. Let me go back to this lesson. So the next is the research portion. This is going to open up a video and your student will learn from one of our amazing coaches. Now, I'm not going to walk through this video because it's several minutes long, but throughout the video, they're prompted to do different things, answer questions and even record videos. When they're prompted to record a video, they'll need to have access to the camera and microphone. So let me show you how to do that. If you're using Chrome, which you should be as it's the most supported browser, you can come up to the little three dots in the corner, click there, and go down to settings. Here in the settings, we're going to go to the far left menu and click privacy and security. Within that, we'll scroll down to site settings. This is where you set settings for each individual website. The first thing we want to do is scroll down to the camera settings and make sure it's set to sites can ask to use your camera. If you've got this one selected down here, nothing's going to work for you. Then we want to make sure that in the list of sites that are allowed to use your camera, we see ahs.lifted.world. If you don't, then make sure your setting is for the ability to use camera, then go back to the LiftEd site and you'll be prompted to give permission for your camera. Let's do the same thing with our microphone. Make sure that sites can ask to use your microphone and make sure that LiftEd is one of the approved sites. Then your students will be able to record a video. Now I'm going to skip to the end of this lesson and it will just show us what some of the interactions were. Um, again, we've got a drag and drop here. What is a life mission? A life mission is something you can do with your unique knowledge and talents to make the world a better place. So your students will do those kind of interactions and they'll also record videos. Now, my son already recorded his video. That's why it's showing this. When he first clicked on this, he saw a little video recorder. He could click record, make his video, click stop and submit. Then it takes him to this page where he can review his video. He can even look at the instructions for what he was supposed to record about. But most importantly, he can see what other students are posting and recording. And this is one of the magic things that happens within LiftEd. Today, my son got to see what his cousin posted and he loved seeing someone he knew. Now I'm going to go out again. Again, your student will just continue on through, but I'm going to show you what comes next. On the pathway, after they've completed the research section, they'll go on to reason and relate. It's much the same as research, but it's a shorter video that makes a gospel connection. Again, here they will answer questions and record video responses. Let's go see what's next on the pathway. Next, we've got a quiz. You've already seen what the questions look like. It's the same types of questions as in the review game. And then finally, your student gets to the record assignment. This is their homework. You'll see that the student has two different options to complete this, and they can choose one or do both for extra points. Now, how do they know what to do? They watch the video and their teacher will give them instructions. Or you can come down here and click this print button and see a PDF version of the instructions. Once the student is ready to complete the assignment, they'll hit the record button and record a short video of themselves giving their answers. For example, in this one, the student was told to go try learning something brand new that they've never done before. So my son today learned some carpentry with me in the evening. He can go back now and click record and record a video of himself telling what he did. And that's really all there is to it. Once the student's done with this, they're done with their lift ed pathway for the day. Except that you can carry it into the home because like we saw before, as a parent, you're given prompts of what to talk to them about and what questions to ask. I hope this will help you be successful on lift ed and we'll learn all together now.